All right, let's sum it up now. So we were able to generate graphs. And you saw that uh, until now we generated like single graphs. So for instance, uh, here you will see a line graph. Now, if you want to combine multiple glyphs in, in one plot, that would be very simple. So let's say you've got two plots uh, you will add a scatter plot there. So you will need to add a circle glyph, so just below this line glyph, or above that, doesn't matter. So circles and with these coordinates, or we can change them. So let's say, let's double this x axis. E times 2 for uh, i in this list which closes here. So, and then this should be the size, size, let's say eight and olive. So this is how you get multiple glyphs in one plot. That was very easy. And so I believe I gave you a good introduction to the Bokeh uh, library. And I believe you, you see its potential, so it's great to actually use Bokeh for uh, generating visualizations. Now, if you want to go deeper into Bokeh, so you may want to have to plot different types of graphs, I would point you first to this resource, so this is documentation, the Bokeh documentation. And this is about plotting with glyphs. So what you have here is various examples. We, we use this one, actually. And other ones as well, lines, and you can also plot patches. So basically you pass the coordinates of each of the points of the polygon here and Bokeh will draw the polygon there. So these are the basic things. And here I'd like to stop a little bit. So um, this is called a quadrat plot actually, this one here. So. Instead of passing a circle or a line, uh, you'll pass a quad. Uh, what this consists of is the top, so the upper border of your quadrant. So for instance, this first quadrant here has a top border of 2 and a bottom of 1. So it's a border with 1 and 2. And then her left would be 1 and right 1.2. So 1 left and 1.2 right and then you have the next quadrant which is this one here with its coordinates as well and so on and here's the colors so you can use CSS color codes if you want besides uh, besides using uh, color strings like red and orange and yellow and so on so the reason I stopped uh, this plot is that we'll be using this plot to actually visualize the times for our video uh, program. So the times when the, an object enters the, the video frame and when the object exits the video frame. So it would be great if you start thinking about this now, how you're going to use, make use of the CSV file that we generated in the, in the video program earlier and plot that file in, uh, in a similar graph like this one. So there are some tricks there, and I don't expect you to, to fully solve this, but it's good to think about that. And you also have this gallery here, so the Bokeh gallery. Uh, here you have some beautiful plots, so you've got the histogram. If you click one of these, so for instance how to make this uh, map, so you can simply copy this code and paste it in your script and run it and you'll get the same map. And uh, that's what I wanted to teach you about Bokeh and we'll be using it later, as I said, for visualizing these uh, times when an object is moving in our video frame in front of our webcam. So I'll talk to you later.